The United States government, impressed with India's efforts to finish terrorism, has urged Pakistan to follow India's footsteps and even support the policies followed by India. Newsweek South Asia has a report. The United States Defense Secretary James Mattis gave a strong message to Pakistan, has said that every responsible nation to support the efforts of the UN, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all those who are trying to maintain peace in South Asia. Mattis asserted that 40 years is enough for every responsible nation to get on board with the South Asian peace process. Earlier, the US President Donald Trump wrote a letter to Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan in which he made clear that Islamabad's assistance was fundamental to the health of the two countries' trained relationship. Trump has requested full support of Pakistan for the US effort to advance the Afghan peace process and for US Special Representative Zalmay Khalilzad's trip to the region. The United States of America has finally woken up to the fact that all along, Pakistan has just taken them up the garden path, taken their money and just let them show, shown them the roses and show them the flowers and that is all. Concrete action against the extremists operating from Pakistan territory, the complicity of ISI and the Pakistani army in training and arming these extremists who are now going around in uh, Afghanistan and in India also and creating mayhem. Jim Matisse continued to praise India's approach towards curbing terrorism in the South Asian region by saying it was time for everyone to get on board, support the United Nations, support Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani and all those who are trying to maintain peace and the world a better place. Ties between Pakistan and the United States have strained ever since Donald Trump became the president. Last month, Trump said that Pakistan does not do a damn thing for the US, alleging that Islamabad has held Al-Qaeda chief Osama bin Laden hide near its garrison city of Abbottabad. In September, the Trump administration cancelled 300 million US dollar in military aid to Islamabad for not doing enough against terror groups like the Haqqani Network and the Taliban active on its soil. Americans have come to the conclusion and they have conveyed that look, there is first of all no good terrorist and there is no bad terrorist. A terrorist is a terrorist. This is as per what our Prime Minister Modi was saying all along and the Indian government has been saying all through these years that look, Pakistan has this habit of saying that the people who are coming into Kashmir, whom they are aiding and abetting and training in their camps over there in Pakistan occupied Kashmir, they are not terrorists, but they are freedom fighters. Now, America has now seen through this game and they have said, told Pakistan that look, you have to stop training, aiding and abetting all these people. On the other hand, India's Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman met James Mattis to discuss high-level security matters and expectedly, Pakistan is bound to come up. Nirmala Sitharaman, who is on a five-day visit to the United States to strengthen defence ties between the two nations, was praised by her United States counterpart for tackling terror activities in South Asia. In her remarks with Jim Mattis at the Pentagon, Sitaraman said mutual trust and confidence in defence partnership between the two countries were growing. The Defence Minister added that she was encouraged by the importance attached to the India-US defence relationship in the new US national security strategy. A strong foundation has been laid for the India-US defence relationship over the years. India sees the US as an important partner in defence, Sitaraman said, adding that the two countries have a good military-to-military -military cooperation, defence consultations, scientific collaborations and co-production and co-development and industry collaboration. This meeting between our uh, defence ministers is going to be very crucial because this will allow uh, interoperability of Indian and American armies. It will also allow a strategic doctrine coming in wherein you will see that America will make policies suited for India to counter China and Pakistan both in this Asia-Pacific region. And thirdly, it will also send a very strong message to Pakistan and China that look, now 
you cannot really take india for granted because the way china is also trying to take india for granted and being a pushover the days are gone by the recent meetings between the two countries sitaraman said have underscored their mutual desire to move positively the high level exchanges are an indication of the depth and the quality of bilateral ties as well as their mutual desire to work closely on a range of regional and global issues she added Overall, Sitaraman appreciated the responsiveness of the Trump administration to India's terror problems.